Philadelphia firm. Shaboing, boing, boing. Shaboing, boing, boing. Shaboing, boing. Get the dick out your mouth, dummy. Shaboing, boing. Get the dick out your mouth, dummy. <laughs> nah, but what's good, y'all? It's your boy Tom. I'm gonna keep the intro short today. We hopping straight into the video. If you need coaching, links below. If it's your first time here, welcome to the Go House. If not, welcome back to the Go House. Let's hop straight into the video. Third parties, how to get rid of them, um, where they come from in the first place. Maybe not in that particular order, but y'all know I'm gonna get straight to it. Let's go. So, what are third parties? Traditionally speaking, when we talk about third parties, people are usually talking about relationships, like there being an extra somebody in the picture in the way of you getting your manifestation. You feel me? So if you manifest a homeboy over here, but he got a little Susie over there, you want little Susie gone, right? Yeah. So, or if you're a dude, you know, some of y'all be like, oh, when she fucked with somebody else, I can't go back. You created it in the first place. And, hold on. And 10 times out of 10, what happens with people is they experience it again through another person because they never healed the belief in the first place. So while you blame the person, it's really the belief, feel me? So once you fix your beliefs, you ain't gotta worry about it. But anyways, say you're a dude and you got, uh, I don't know, fuck Gordon Ramsay as a third party. Oh, fuck off, AJP. Take him and yourself back to fucking Belgium. Nice. Fuck right off, fuck off. I don't know, I'm just making some shit up. Uh, <laughs> 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 and you trying to get rid of him, you, you don't want to go around to the bitch, you feel me? It's just you, so how do we get rid of that third party? Actually, run that back a little bit. <laughs> run that back. Run that back, Turbo. Another third party instance could be if you're going for a job and there's someone else going for the job, you feel me? Anything that's in, your, in the way of you getting what you want could be a third party. It could be like their parents, uh, our daughter Tiffany is kind, she's gorgeous, and she really keeps it pushing. She's one of the best things that has happened to us. But there's just one thing that really is holding her back. Her shizzle, my nizzle. It's her boyfriend, Brian. He's a real pain in the ass. Their best friend, whatever, blase, blase, blah, right? So how to get rid of a third party. I know... The traditional advice, I'm going to give you the traditional advice plus what I know works the best. You feel me? I didn't put my name as go to manifesting for nothing, brother. Okay? Let's get it. So, how you get rid of them is you're going to affirm. You can take this exact affirmation and I'm going to tell you why it's worded the way it's worded so you know why it's effective. There's a couple of affirmations I'm going to say. They're all pretty much the same, but... You could say, why am I, if you're if you're a girl, you'll say, why am I the only woman he's ever wanted? Why am I the only woman he's ever desired? Why am I the only woman he's ever been attracted to? Why am I the only woman he's ever acknowledged? You, if you're a dude, you flip it and you say the same thing. Why am I the only man that he or she has ever acknowledged? Why am I the only man that he or she has ever desired? Why am I the only man who blah, 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 blah right? So... Y'all get the gist. So the point is, <laughs> when you're affirming this, some people are like, uh, they're like, Tony, I've been affirming away the third party, but like, they're still there. A lot of y'all's affirmations, when y'all trying to affirm away a third party, y'all are saying it in a way that still acknowledges the third party. So you're, and y'all wonder why the journey is so hard or so difficult, because you're still acknowledging the third party. Feel me? Um, and there's two ways you can go about that. The first way is what I just go, what I just gave y'all, or you can combine them. So uh, the reason you will say, I'm the only man this person has ever wanted, desired, acknowledged, been attracted to, is because you don't want to acknowledge the third party in your affirmations. So a lot of y'all be like, oh, y'all will be affirming, oh, such and such is gonna break up, such and such is gonna break up with blah, 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 blah. Or you're acknowledging the third party in some way, shape, or form. You feel me? Uh, like, oh, they're not going to be together long. Oh, it's just a rebound. You're acknowledging it. You're trying to say it in a way that, and granted, most of y'all don't know, so this is why I'm here to help you. But uh, you're trying to say it in a way that still acknowledges them. 
you want to take away that acknowledges you're the only one for them. If you're affirming, you're the only one that they've ever wanted, desired, been attracted to, blah, 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 blah they're going to have to conform to fit that mold, you feel me, uh, in your reality. So instead of acknowledging them, the third party, you instead affirm that you're the only one they want, which implies there are no third parties. If you're the only one they want, the only one they desire, the only one they're attracted to, any third party must go, you feel me? So there's that. Um, <laughs> so the other way you can do this, or you can just combine it, is one thing I like to do is I bless everyone involved. Everyone in the picture, I bless them. Uh, which would, is gonna be better for your spiritual body, your heart, you feel me? Uh, when you're doing something like this, because a lot of y'all like to hold grudges, hold resentment, uh, anger, hurt. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, my phone loves to do this when I be spitting. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I just said that, but something gotta be hating on me it can't be me it ain't nothing wrong with me feel me nigga you just hating feel me that's why you ain't never gonna have no paper ain't never gonna have no bitches feel me wait watch your mouth you know what i'm saying but as i was saying some people it's guilt they feel bad because they discover what the law of assumption is how it works and the fact that we are the ones who manifest everything into our lives so they feel bad that they did this to themselves so this is why you bless everyone involved forgive everyone involved forgive yourself forgive your SP, the perceived third party, um, whoever it is, forgive everyone involved um, and bless everyone involved. That's going to be a game changer for some of y'all. And it's as simple as just saying it. Some of y'all will probably try to make this too complicated. It is, it is as simple as doing affirmations or just saying it. Like The more you say it, it's just like anything else in law of assumption or manifestation. The more you say it, it starts to happen. So you'll be in a reality where you're blessing the 3P, you're blessing your SP, your ex, whoever it is. You're blessing yourself. You're forgiving everyone involved, including yourself. You can't lose with that. You just say, I forgive myself for, you know, wrong thinking, even though I was unaware. I forgive my SP for blah, 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 blah. Forgive means to uh, give up, to give up a story. That's what we're talking about here. So to forgive someone means to give up the story of them being a certain way in your reality holding on to resentment or whatever it is um, basically that's what it means just means to give up the story give up the old story so when you forgive someone you're free you're giving up the old story of them you feel me when you're blessing someone you're uh, basically wishing them good fortune you feel me you cannot lose with that that is essentially how you're going to get rid of a third party um, and another affirmation I will add just to conclude this off is saying affirmations like I am good enough, I am chosen, um, I'm worthy, I'm deserving, things like that. Those are what caused you to have a third party anyway. Those are the main beliefs. So if you start affirming things like that, that is how you get rid of a third party, you feel me? So with that being said, that's the video for y'all today, how to get rid of third parties. Uh, I got interrupted for a third time. That's how you get rid of a third party. You feel me? Apply everything I said. If you gotta go take notes, do that. But anyway, before this joint, try to interrupt me again because I know I got good information when I'm getting hated on like this. You feel me? Uh, that's the video. It's been your favorite Shaboing Boing. Your favorite Shaboing Lord. Favorite Shablik Be Blah. Instead of having a third party in your reality, how about you become the type of person that if you were the third party, you'd be one hell of a third party. Bow. Anyways, I'm out. I'll catch y'all in the next one.